I'm going to start this video with a really boring, annoying activity, and that is moving and renaming some files, mostly view components. It's just the natural progress of any project. You work and work on it, and at some point you have to move files around to keep everything nice and tidy. I know this is boring, but I want to show you the whole process, so let's get started. What I want to do is move all the board-related components inside the boards directory. So let's create it. I'll do new directory, boards, select the two files, drag them in, click refactor, and then we also need to grab the board name form and create board list form components. Refactor, and now I'll rename board to show and boards to index. Let's open the board controller and the index action should render the board slash index component while the show action should render board slash show. It would have been nice to have some automated tests to help us, but that's a story for another day. For now, let's just check the browser. Cannot find module components board name form. That's because we've also moved these to components. So let's open the show component and make sure we import these two from pages slash boards. Save, refresh, and here it is, no more errors. Another thing I want to rename is the concept of board list. So this is not a board list, this is a card list. So I got that wrong. So let's rename that as well. I'll close all these and let's start from the web routes file. I'll rename board list controller to card list controller. Let's also rename the route name to card lists store. And now I'll open the controller and we'll have to rename the board list model. So this will be card list. And let's also rename the migration. This will become card lists. And let's rename the file as well. Create card lists. And I think we're done. Let's do another search for board list. And we still have the create board list form component. So let's rename that as well. So down here, this one will become card list create form. Let's update the show component. And finally, we'll need to re-migrate the database. So I'll do PHP artisan migrate fresh seed. Let's have a look. I'll refresh. And we're good to go. I know this has been annoying and possibly confusing, but we really had to do it. If you are coding along, please check the description box. You'll see a link to code snippets. Let's continue. What I want to do next is display cards from the database. To do that, we'll need a card model. So let's create it. I'll do PHP artisan make model card and then M for migration, F for factory. Let's open the migration and we'll have table, foreign ID, board ID, constraint and on delete cascade. We'll have a similar column for the card list ID and another one for the user ID. Then we'll have a string for the title and a long text for the description. And this one will be nullable. Let's open the card model and we'll disable mass assignment by setting worded to an empty array. And we'll also open the card list model to add the cards relationship. So we'll have public cards and this will return this has many card. Let's add the return type. And we can now open the card factory. And let's grab the columns from here. Paste them in. 
and let's say user factory. And here we'll actually have board factory, card list factory, and here we'll say this faker sentence and this faker sentences and we'll call a function we'll give it the number of sentences and tell it we want it back as a string let's open the database header and here we'll have boards and then for each boards as board we'll create a card list factory and then create we'll have a board id which will be board ID and then user ID, which will be user ID. Now for this card list, we'll create a bunch of cards. We'll do card factory, let's say 50, create, and then we'll pass it the board ID and the user ID and the card list ID. Let's run the migration and the seeder. We'll do php artisan migrate fresh seed. And we have an error saying near cascaded. There's a typo here. Let's rerun it. And we now get there is no card list factory. Is that true? Let's say card list factory. No, we don't have that factory, so let's create it. I'll do php artisan make factory card list factory. Let's open the card list migration. Grab the columns, open the factory, paste them in, and we'll have user factory board factory and this faker name let's rerun the migration and see there there we go let's open the board controller and make sure we load the cards relationship so here we'll have lists and cards let's go in the browser refresh and if we inspect we have lists and then cards right here. Let's render the cards. I'll open the show page component. And here we'll do for card in list.cards. And then here we'll display card.title. I'll save. Let's add the key. So we'll do key card ID, save, going to browser, and here they are. Moving on, let's create a card list component. So I'll go here and say new file, card list.view. We'll have script setup, template. We'll go inside the show file and grab all this. Paste it in, remove the v4 and even the class attribute. Let's define the props. So we'll have const props equals define props list, which will be an object. And to make it easier to import all the missing components, I'll go here, grab all the imports, paste them in. And when I format, all the unused ones will be gone. Now here, instead of looping and displaying a div, we'll have a card list. We'll keep the key and make sure we pass list as a prop. And remove pretty much everything inside it. I'll save, go in the browser, refresh, and here they are. And that's it for now. 
In the next video we'll work on the create cards form. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye!